Okay, so I've done what I said I would do. I've turned my book around so it's now upside down just so I'm not smudging my hand all over that area and so that I've got a little bit more room <coughs> to work with on this section. Um, I've got a biro pen, it's just a normal writing pen. Um, the key thing to remember when you are doing something in biro is that um, obviously you can't, I mean you can a little bit change the pressure of what's going on um, with the pen so you can, you, but it's not like pencil where you just change it and it goes a lot lighter. Um, the key thing to remember is to make lighter and darker areas you need to leave more space or leave no space between your marks. So if you have got um, if you've got dashes, let's say, you're doing, I'll just do it on this one, you're doing the dashes really nice and close together to get a darker colour and then leaving the space. You're using kind of the whiteness of the page to make a different tone. Okay, so that's the key thing to remember. Um, with this one, you're doing it exactly the same as what you were doing before. I'm going to do it and then rub out my pencil lines because I don't really want the, the pencil lines there. Now, I have noticed, and this is a personal preference and I actually put it on uh, my mind map at the beginning, that I like really defined lines and quite like thick outlines. So when I am... Um, doing stuff like this I will quite often um outline like I just did and that's just a personal preference <coughs> <coughs> you don't have to do that at all well that looks like pac-man uh you don't have to do that at all you can leave it as um as kind of undefined as you like but I think I just like the definition there Anyway, so I'll do this one, I'll speed it up again so you can see kind of what I'm doing and then uh, show you at the end. This is going to sound weird because it's sped up, but I also, I'm not too fussed if my lines go over the line either. So like here, I've kind of gone, they're a bit rougher than what I started with. And I, I don't desperately mind that either because it's just, it's just about getting a feel for the media really. This pencil. What I'm trying to be quite careful with is when I'm doing these um, circles and things, obviously it's quite easy to go over the line at that point, but I kind of want to keep the definition of the shape. So that's why I keep kind of stopping <clears throat> and going around the edge.
so that's done. So I'm just going to take my rubber and uh, <laughs> camera shaking load, sorry, and just uh, go over those lines just to get rid of any pencil lines that I might still have um, because I don't kind of want them messing up my composition. And so that's that. So I'm going to do what I did with my pencil. <clears throat> I'm going to go back to my page and see kind of what I've not, oh, I like that, that broken cross hatch. So I'm going to do a bit of that. And I actually really like that dandelion thing as well. So those are the two that I'm going to try and get in next time. I find that really useful to kind of go back and review what you haven't used because I did that yesterday. I can't remember what happened yesterday. So you can see how it's starting to build up and how they're completely different, even though they're kind of the same color. So that's what I want you to be checking on. And already I'm picking out bits that I like and don't like. So on this one, I really like the dashes in that square and I quite like the way that that has managed to go there, that kind of scribbly bit of shading. Whereas on here, I love that. I think that looks really effective. And I actually quite like this idea of having the rays coming out. I don't know whether you can see it. The rays coming out of the different shapes. So already I'm starting to pick up ideas from these different media that I really like. So when I come to combining them, I've got a bit more of an idea of what I'm actually doing. Okay, so I'll do this one. I will take a picture of it and then I'll put it on the thingy and then we'll do our next couple of media.